Today, I've got something truly groundbreaking to share with you. Imagine turning text into video with a twist, a clone motion feature. And here's the kicker. This tool is so new only 917 people know about it. Yep, you're one of the first. At the time of recording this video, there were only 917 others using this tool. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this for real? Is this free? Yes. This is absolutely free to use as of now. Stick around, and you'll see the magic unfold. I'll take you behind the scenes, and share tips and tricks you won't find anywhere else. We're talking insider info, sneak peeks, and a hands-on experience with this groundbreaking tool. So, are you ready to dive into a world where your words transform into captivating videos? Hit like, subscribe, and let's embark on this journey together. Trust me, you don't want to miss a second of what's coming up next. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link in the description to join the Discord channel. When you join the Discord channel, the first thing to do here is go over the Getting Started Guide. As of the time of my recording this video, this is the features and how to use it. Always double check this, as features may change. So let's skim through this real quick. The editorial pickup channel will showcase outstanding work. If you want to generate a video, you will need to use the Gen 1 channel. Typing slash video and then entering a prompt is how to generate a video. For the prompt, you can include things such as appearances, motions, environments, etc. Right now, the generating time is roughly 2 minutes. Here are some optional parameters. Dash AR 16 colon 9 will give you a 16 by 9 aspect ratio compared to using dash AR 9 colon 16, which is a vertical video aspect ratio. You can use dash neg for a negative prompt. This will include things you don't want in your video. Dash move boost. You can set this to zero for less movement. By default, it is set to one and is suitable for big motion videos like racing. These optional parameters can only be appended to your prompt. Here is an example they use. Additionally, if you want more control over your motion, you can use the motion video option. So let's head over to the Gen 1 channel and try this out. When you're in the Gen 1 channel, simply type slash video, I'll use the prompt portrait of a half-human half-cyborg in a post-apocalyptic setting. Sweet, here is the video. I'm going to try a long prompt to see how it handles it. I'll use this pause the video if you want to copy it. Nice, now that is pretty cool. Okay, before I continue to generate images, I'd like to point out a unique feature they have is this clone motion button. Let's say you generated an image and you like the motion that was generated. Clicking this button from that video will allow you to adjust your prompt, but keep that style of motion. Also, by clicking on other people's generated motion, you can see the prompt that they used to generate their video. Let me show you exactly what I mean by scrolling up a bit. Here we have a video generated with some dance moves. This user uploaded this video as a motion reference. Then clicking on the motion button you'll be able to see the prompt. A few months back, I made a video about Pika Labs when they were still in beta. In that video, I showed a trick to make a private room for video generation. Back then, it was okay to do that. I checked Pika Labs Discord recently and noticed they've removed this feature. But, we can apply the same method here. So here is how to do it. After generating a video, click on open a thread and type anything into the thread this will open up your own private room for generating videos. Well it's not completely private because I believe other people can still view and access your thread. I am not 100% sure about this. However, it keeps the main Discord Gen 1 channel clean and clear because once this Discord gets crowded, sometimes it can get difficult to find your generated videos. After doing this, you can now generate all of your videos in your own thread. I love sharing these kinds of tips, tricks, and little unknown details on my channel. If you like learning about AI tools and tips and tricks, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. All right, let's move on. I'll be creating a series of videos and will present them once they're ready. After I'm happy with these creations, I'll focus more on demonstrating the clone motion feature. This will involve testing the clone motion using the open pose motion sequence from my previous Magic Animate video. Don't forget to watch that one if you haven't already. Alright, I'm done generating the videos. This took around 32 minutes to generate the 15 videos. Let's check out the results.
Okay cool, not bad at all and completely free. So remember this video. This is the video I will test the clone motion feature with by adjusting the prompt. So here is the video. I'll start by clicking on the clone motion button. Here is the original prompt. I'll make some changes to this prompt to showcase the clone motion feature. Here are the videos side by side. So, earlier I said I was going to test the open pose motion sequence from a video I previously did showcasing magic anime. Here is that open pose motion sequence. However, here with Vision Story, we can only clone 2 second videos. In their get started video, it shows you can do 6 second durations. However, I could not get any video to produce for 6 seconds. But, that is probably due to the fact that I was trying to use the dash duration feature on regular generations. Maybe it will only work on self-uploaded motion sequence videos, so with that being said, I'll test this out using a 6 second video. If that doesn't work it will just use the first 2 seconds of this 6 second video. If this doesn't work with this open posed motion sequence, I'll test it with the original video which I got from pxels.com. The reason for this test is that clone motion isn't advertised to need an open pose or any type of motion conversion it is meant to use just a video with motion. No conversion is needed. So let me type slash video, then I'll enter my prompt. I'll use full metal robotic cyborg dancing, dash AR 16 colon 9, dash duration, 6, high quality. Next, I'll click here where it says plus 2 more and it will now allow me to add in my motion video, which is this video here. So now let me drag and drop this video here and see what we get. Okay, so it didn't read the open pose motion sequence. So let me show you how it would work using the same prompt, but with the actual motion video not converted into an open pose sequence, and let's see how it does. Nice. So, it did way better with using the original footage for motion however, I still noticed that it only does 3 seconds. It completely ignored the 6 second duration, so maybe that's something they will add in the future. Now, when you're done with your thread, I recommend closing and deleting it, but that's completely up to you. So that was just a glimpse into the incredible possibilities with this tool. Remember, the world of AI video generation is always evolving and I'm here to keep you in the loop. If you've got ideas or prompts you'd like me to try in future videos, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget, the Discord channel is your gateway to all these amazing features, so make sure you're part of the community. Keep experimenting, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of creativity. See you soon. AI Controversy signing off.